Today's video is about a completely different topic. A few months ago, I decided to pull the trigger on my system and install Cache OS just to see how well it actually performs. I've been using it since then, but something happened recently that made me move away from it. In this video, we are going to talk about exactly what happened and why I'm no longer using Cache OS. And with this, welcome back to Linux Art. Today isn't a typical tutorial, it's more of a experience report, a story of my time with Cache OS, what worked, what didn't work, and especially a major problem I encountered about a week ago. So let's dive straight into it. In November, I mentioned that I had switched to Cache OS and was actually quite happy with it. I wanted to try it because of the current hype, even though I didn't fully understand why everyone was talking about it. I figured if I tried it myself, I could either confirm it wasn't for me or finally understand why it is so popular. So what happened since November? I went on a well-deserved Christmas break for about two and a half weeks. When I returned to my main machine, I did what any Arch user does, a system update. I used sudo paru to bring everything up to date. Usually I update once a week and even then I often have over a gigabyte of packages to download. I guess that's very normal for a experienced Arch Linux user. But unfortunately, the thing I always warn people about with Arch-based system actually happened. The system didn't boot properly. Instead of my desktop, I was greeted by a simple text console. So it's always a shame when that happened, especially when you just want to get back to work after your holidays. The issue what probably was happening that the Nvidia driver or the kernel had problems finding the Nvidia driver. I tried to fix it quickly, but it wasn't straightforward. I checked my history and searched for solutions, but around that time Arch Linux had implemented some major changes regarding how NVIDIA drivers are handled. There's also a great article on its FOSS. I put you the link to it into the video description. I tried one of the common suggestions installing the NVIDIA 580 DKMS driver. I checked the error logs, but even after a reboot, I faced the same issue. The problem wasn't my i3 setup, the X server, or even the display manager, which was LY. The system wouldn't even start the display manager. It dropped straight to the TTY. So the core issue was an error during the init RAM FS creation. Here we see the core issue during the init RAM FS creation the module not found NVIDIA, NVIDIA mode set, NVIDIA UVM and DRM. Even though the driver appeared to be installed, the kernel couldn't find the modules. So here we see my commands I did. So sudo paru minus r for removing those and installing the recommended Linux cache OS things. I'm running an NVIDIA GTX 1660. This card is right on the edge of the architecture changes Arch Linux recently implemented and the lead developer of Endeavor OS actually posted an announcement in December as we see it here explaining that Nvidia drivers were being restructured. They mentioned that if you hadn't changed anything, here we see it, after the initial installation you shouldn't have to do anything. But for me, for my system, that's kind of a lie. I, I didn't do anything, but then the system wasn't able to boot anymore. I followed the recommended steps. I removed my manual NVIDIA um, 580 DKMS installation, which I installed because of this here. And I tried these suggested packages 
is we see them here during this process. Um, I even ran out of disk space and had to run pacman minus SCC to clear 25 gigabytes of cache. Um, I even used the um, dash dash overwrite flag for NVIDIA utils to fix conflicts. So it was quite a journey to be honest. Um, but despite all that, I kept getting the same module not found error we see here. It's it has been always the same module not found error. So after an hour of troubleshooting, I decided I didn't want to spend any more time on it for the moment. So I needed a working system. I had been curious about a DevOS anyway, so I decided to make a switch. Because I use a minimalist i3 desktop setup, if you are interested in this, just have a look to my video from the last week where I described this and where I showed you my complete setups. I put you the link to this video down into the video description. So in the end for Endeavor OS, I just had to reinstall a few packages, but my workflow remained identical to what I had, for example, also on Debian or Linux Mint, which I was using before Cache OS. So it took about two hours total to get Endeavor OS fully running and half of that was just downloading the ISO file and writing to the USB stick. So great performance on this way. So why Endeavor OS instead of going back to Debian where I had come from. I consider Debian, but there's a versioning problem. Cache OS uses very new versions of software like Thunderbird and Firefox. If I moved back to Debian's stable older versions, my profile folders wouldn't be compatible. I would have had to reset everything. Endeavor OS being an Arch derivative is very close to vanilla Arch, but offers an easier installer and a great community wiki. And of course has kind of the same new versions of Thunderbird, Firefox and so on. And interestingly, Endeavor OS handled the NVIDIA setup just perfectly. I selected the NVIDIA drivers during the installation and it has been stable ever since. So great respect for that. But to be fair, Cache OS was also handling the NVIDIA drivers almost like a charm before that complete crash. Let us come to my final thoughts on Cache OS. I want to be fair. I don't think the Cache OS team is at fault here. They posted forum notices about the NVIDIA changes some days in advance. They were very active in helping users in the comments. The problem is that not every user checks the forums every day before running an update. So, okay, just fine. But this experience is a reminder. Cache OS is a great distribution indeed. But it might not be for everyone, especially beginners. If an experienced Linux user spends an hour and can't fix such a boot issue and driver issue, that's a warning sign for people who just want a productive system that just works. In terms of performance, I'll be honest, I didn't notice a massive speed boost in Cache OS compared to Endeavor OS or even Debian. I did some benchmarks between Debian and Cache OS some months before I show it to you. At first, I did a superposition benchmark on Cache OS. Here you see my GPU. I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660. It's yeah, five years old or a bit older. I had the driver 580. It was, of course, before the crash, so um, some weeks ago. And um, yeah, I got a result. This is the important one of 2,313 points with an average frame rate of 17.30. So if we compare that to my existing Debian installation on the very same computer, what would you expect? It is a bit weaker. So instead of 2313 points, we only have 2300 and five points and we have an average FPS of 1725. So very small difference between those operating systems here. And Debian had a downside here. It was a bit older with the driver of 550 NVIDIA. So at first this and also the system is much more older than the Cache OS was at this time. So as you see, there wasn't a big difference at all. 
And if we have a look, for example, to the CPU Fibonacci test, here we see the Debian machine. This Debian machine got 10,607 points. So higher is better also at this point. So 10,607 and on Cache OS, we got 10,624. As you see, there wasn't a big difference at all. And I'll be honest, I also didn't recognize any massive speed boost in Cache OS compared also yeah, to Endeavor OS or um, yeah, as you saw, even Debian. And also one small gaming note on the side, one weird thing I noticed on Cache OS was with gaming. It uses a hybrid mode that apparently only activates the Nvidia GPU when it think it's needed. But for games like Super Tux Card or Mindtest, Cache OS didn't recognize them as 3D applications. So they ran on the integrated graphics and lagged horribly until I manually forced the NVIDIA GPU via launch variables. So I actually had in the end fewer gaming high cups on Debian than on Cache OS. But of course, this is only a very small side note. I found it really funny. So in the end, I'm happy with Endeavor OS for now. I'll see how it holds up over the next six months. If you have an idea of why I kept getting that module not found NVIDIA error as we see it here, um, let me know it into the comments. I still have the Cache OS partition saved and might try to fix it in the future video just out of curiosity. I now just stick with Endeavor OS for plenty of time and then I see if I staying on Endeavor OS or if I might switch, for example, back to a Debian or Linux Mint, because those were also options I considered. So in the end, what are your experiences with Cache OS or Arch based systems? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.